Excuse me, I was about to do my famous intro. Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Sam St. John is having a contest. He wants to reach 300 subs, possibly, possibly 500. And uh, so he'll, I'll have a link for his channel below. So please subscribe to him. He, he's got a great channel. And he, you've probably seen him on some of my live chats. So he wanted us YouTubers to show the five latest artists that we've listened to. And last night I actually listened to five albums and they were all five different artists. The first one I actually listened to on Spotify because I didn't want to get out of bed and pick this one up because it's heavy. Ah. Yes, I listened to the remix of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Now Sam St. John is doing these uh, ranking the songs in all of the Beatles albums with uh, Rich S Strickler. And so if I remember I'll put their, his channel down there too and you can watch them review and rank all of the songs on all of the Beatles albums. It's quite interesting. And that's actually why I decided after watching their video last night or, or yesterday, I was thinking, yeah, I haven't listened to Sgt. Pepper in like over a week. <laughs> but and I'm going to, you know, do a little review of each of these albums too, drag out the video a little bit. But it doesn't matter. Th this album is probably one of the most I've, I've heard in my life, in the top five probably. And I never ever get tired of hearing it. And I even hear new things every time I, I listen. And what really, I think what really stood out for me last night was listening to the way Paul McCartney was singing. Like he had, he had a bit more grit in his in his vocals on some tracks uh, compared to you know the earlier days of the Beatles. And I was almost thinking at one point it's almost like it's almost like a different singer. Yeah, really weird. <laughs> no, but. Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I was also thinking last night, I know this is Glenn Kellaway from The Basement's all-time favorite album, and it's right up there for me too, but I always say it's either Abbey Road or, or The White Album. But I might be coming around to saying this is my favorite album of all time. Be, you know, from start to finish, it's just so consistently great. I know, I know there's some people that don't care for uh, Within You, Without You. I absolutely love that song. Uh, Being for the Benefit of Mr. Kite, it was so original back in 1967. It was, <laughs> there was nothing to compare it to. And so it was just so original, 1967. I know some people think it's overrated. But I'm starting to think for myself that I've underrated this album. And it might possibly be, for me, the greatest album of all time. Which drops Don Ho's 30 Hawaiian favorites to second place. A little humor. Now, uh, I did a, uh, a video yesterday with Glenn Kellaway and Robert's on my turntable where we ranked and reviewed all of the songs on Led Zeppelin 1 and 2. If you haven't seen the video, it'll be at the end of this video, so check it out. We combined all of the songs from both albums and we ranked them. And uh, before before we recorded the, the video, Glenn was saying that he, he was starting to watch the Sparks documentary on Netflix again. He'd only seen the first half of it when he was here. And that got me to watch it once more and to play their 1979 album, Number One in Heaven. This is when they, uh, they switched from a, a band format to just synthesizers and drums. And it really was ahead of its time. And if you like synthesizer-based music, 
techno music or whatever you want to call it, dance music, I highly, highly recommend you check out Number One in Heaven. Like if that album cover isn't cool, I don't know what is. The third album I played last night, I've become, thanks to Glenn Calloway again, a huge fan of Stephen Wilson and Porcupine Tree, even though I don't have, I think I have about maybe half of the Porcupine Tree albums. But this one, Fear of a Blank Planet, this is the one that I wouldn't say I'm struggling with, but it's my least favorite at the moment, which could be a good thing because sometimes my least favorite album by a, an artist in time becomes one of my favorites if not my favorite but I still like it I'm just saying I'm not totally into it like some of the other porcupine tree albums so I'll give it time and this this is probably the the band I've been playing the most in the last couple of weeks I bought their box set of their first I think or five albums and there's lots of bonus materials and this is their first album Spirit and this you know they're they have two CDs up they have two albums on each CD so this one also includes the family that plays together but I just listened to the first album Spirit but all of their albums are just amazing I'd always heard of Spirit I might have heard uh, a song or two, but I never really heard their albums, and I am just so impressed with this band. They are definitely one of my new favorite bands, and uh, if you haven't heard Spirit, you have to check them out. Just amazing talent. They do, you know, pop, they do rock, they do jazz, just really good. And finally, once again, I've all, this has always been my favorite Kinks album. But even the last few times I've played this, this is a, a new, I think it's just a, a remaster, not a remix. But usually a remaster, you know, sounds better, usually. But sometimes uh, they remaster it so well or they remix it so well that it, it really grows in stature, and this one definitely has grown in stature for me. It is Lola versus Power Man and the Money Go Round Part 1. We're still waiting for Part 2. Uh, and what really impressed me was, because I've always been a big fan of uh, Strangers, Lola, Top of the Pops, the Money Go Round, but even the what I thought were the lesser songs, I absolutely love them now, like This Time Tomorrow, A Long Way From Home, Rats, Ape Man of course is great, Power Man, Got To Be Free, the whole album is just amazing. And I've heard other Kinks albums, not all of them, but this definitely for me is the, the best of them all that I've heard. Yeah, it says here, original album stereo 2020 remaster. But they did a fine job because it sounds so much better than my previous version that I had. So that's it. Uh, I hope you subscribe to Sam St. John and get him to 300, 400, 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.